I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this is a review of the Onsong Sheet Music Management app for the iPad. Onsong is an app for iPad that stores, organizes, and displays sheet music. Songs can be viewed by songs, artists, by the key they're in, by the topic, and you can set up set lists. It's backlit so you can see it no matter what the lighting is on stage. Finding the songs is fairly easy. Touch the songs, you can scroll through, or you can just jump to the alphabetical section that you're looking for. You don't have to buy sheet music for it. It will store any uh, PDF format. I use a lot of just lyrics and chords. You can also scan in guitar tab or sheet music. In fact, a lot of online sheet music sales, that's where I got this, will simply save as a PDF and you don't ever have to print it out. To set up the sets, you just go to My Sets, pick a set, you can uh, add a new set. Here's some of mine. The Beige is a band I play with. Uh, a couple of girls I accompanied. A uh, student concert. Uh, let's look at the yoga set that I put together to play behind a yoga class. Uh, one of my originals. Skip down to this one. When you're in set mode, you can uh, just swipe it sideways and it'll go to the next song. You can set the sheet music up to scroll automatically. Set the song length. Guitar Man's about four minutes. Okay. Hit that. And then hit the down arrow, and it should start scrolling automatically. And if you've guessed right and have your chart set up right, you should be able to read the music along with the song while you're singing it. If you prefer, as I do, to have some manual control over it, you can get the Page Flip Bluetooth pedal or the BT-105 Air Turn Bluetooth widget, which requires two separate pedals to go with it. More on the pedals later, but in general, the right one makes it go up, the left one makes it go back. One of the things I like about this is I have one of the magnetic iPad covers and it sticks to a music stand really well. Although lately I started using the microphone stand clip for it, which looks a little science fiction-y to me. Sometimes I may be a bit sarcastic. It's easily adjustable and holds the iPad securely in a convenient position. It's tougher than I thought. It's held up through a lot of gigs, even though I just stick it on top in my backpack. I confess I've become quite dependent on it since I'm constantly learning and performing new songs for my students, plus it's handy for pickup gigs when I don't have all the songs memorized. It's also great for solo gigs because I can call up old repertoire with a swipe of a new finger, have words to new songs that I haven't quite memorized yet, and I don't have to carry three notebooks with me. I'm going to show you really briefly how you add songs to OnSong. Uh, first you have to make a PDF of the document. On my Mac I can just control P and then there's a little PDF tab down at the bottom. And Save as PDF and I'm going to save this in my song lyrics PDF file. Okay so now that's there. Now I go into iTunes, find my iPad, Click Apps, scroll down to the OnSong app. Okay, these are the documents that are in there. And now I'm going to add a document. And we're going to add fishing. Double click. Yeah, we're going to replace it. It's the same thing. Relax. Okay, and then sync. And it thinks, 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 thinks. And we're done. From there, we go over to the iPad itself. All songs, add a song, iTunes file sharing. I look up fishing, right there it is. And we've added it to the book. Import. And now it's all jolly, and fishing is back where it needs to be. If you're a musician and own an iPad already, it's definitely worth the money just to keep your charts organized. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this has been a review and an overview of the usage of the OnSong music management app for the iPad. Thank you for watching.